And my name is Brian. I've been working with SAVT now for nearly 10 years and I started off as a volunteer doing one-to-one -one teaching. I had a very nice guy um, who was a refugee from Turkey. He had a family but they had a disabled son which meant that um, he and his wife couldn't go out to classes which was why one-to-one -one was very very useful for him and I worked with him for two or three years and helped him develop his English. Right, so today's session um, is about lesson planning. But before that, My name's Ruth Smart. I guess I've, I've, done, I've had some experience teaching English in the past and I've also just had a lot of experience volunteering with like refugees and I just thought it'd be like a really good way to help isolated people in the community um, whilst teaching them English. So yeah, I think it's a, a really good combination of like two things, like befriending and teaching. This session, um, and consider how to plan a lesson and what the stages of the lesson are. Um, and we will look, look a little bit at schemes of work again, we've done that, but we'll look a little bit more detail at those. Uh, I'm volunteering for safety for two reasons. I like to help people, and uh, the second reason, I like to uh, develop my skills in teaching because when I was in my country, I was teaching English. The, the person goes around assessing the situation, mm -hmm. see how, what kind of need is it, how great is the need, mm -hmm. who you'd be best to, and I think Satya are absolutely brilliant mm -hmm. about matching up yeah. the teacher to the learner. I joined my classes uh, in September 2009. Uh, I started uh, from uh, uh, entry three and I completed my uh, level two. Uh, later on, I went to the uh, Martina's class, uh, ESOL classes, to help other learners uh, as a volunteer. Actually, safety uh, provide, uh, they b make a big change uh, in the people because they started from one-to-one uh, -one classes uh, at home. And when people uh, gain some uh, confidence, uh, they can understand a little bit and they can speak any English. They trained me as a teacher and uh, I did uh, with my learner uh, six months. Uh, I feel more confident so I went to the teaching assistant classes in these days. Um, so I volunteered at Safti for five years. A job became available with Safti for outreach and development worker in 2007. Just being exposed to Safti's work through my voluntary role I just became aware of what a worthwhile organisation SAFTI is and the difference and the impact it actually makes on the lives of the people that it's involved with. It doesn't try and hold on to them. The whole ethos of SAFTI is to make these people independent. 